Data displayed by the ASPX grid view can be sorted by display text, edit value, or by using custom sorting rules. In this video, you'll learn how to sort data using a custom sorting algorithm. Each data column has the sort mode property which specifies how its data is sorted. In this lesson, I'm going to implement a custom sorting rule for the product name column. This column displays text values, and after implementing the custom sort, rows will be compared by the length of the product name column's value instead of an alphabetical sort. First, enable custom sorting for the column you want to apply a custom sort to. In our case, let's choose the product name column. Then, handle the custom column sort event. Here, you can implement your custom sorting algorithm. You should check to see which column the sort is being applied to. You can use the column.fieldName property to verify this. The handled property sets whether a comparison operation is handled. Therefore, no default processing is required for the ASPX grid view. When the custom column sort event is fired, two rows will be compared. The value 1 and value 2 parameters identify the row values within this column. Now we'll check the lengths of the string values. The comparer class, which is part of the system.collections namespace, is very handy for such operations. The result of the custom comparison should be set using the result property. There are three possible values, minus 1, 1, and 0, which will indicate how the rows will be positioned, above, below, or not moved at all. And we're done. Now let's run the application to see the results. The product name column now sorts by the length of the values. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.